everyone, uh, this is scoring the players. We are outside the stadium in the car park section. Kazam Stadium. Kazam, Kazam, whatever. Um, it's going to be a long night getting home. It is. So, <laughs> uh, we're not going to get home until 6 or 7 a.m. Because after each video, I'm stopping in the service station to edit it. That's how painful. I need an editor on Newcastle fans to be. I don't know if I'm going to do this on Oran, especially with the four subs. Let's begin with Carl Darlow. How do you think? Should he have done better the first goal? He should have done better with the second goal. Was it the, the free kick was the second goal? Free kick was the first one. First goal, yeah. All right, beg your pardon. Yeah, it was, yeah he should have done Second better. goal was that volley, which I thought was brilliant. It was brilliant, but yeah, you're totally right. You should have done better with that, and it pains me to say that, you know. Yeah. You know, but I don't know. Six, seven, seven, give him a seven, innit? No? Yeah. No, I know, it's your, it's your that, call. That, that if, if, if people want to rinse in the comments, that's, the, that's up to them. Alright. Um, I'll begin with Yedlin. I thought Yedlin was shocking tonight. Um, brought a lot of energy in the first half. <sighs> He's final end ball product and we brought, me. It brought, me. brought Valentino Lazaro in for a reason and he has to start for me at Arsenal. He'll have another week train. I know they're going to have a week off with obviously the break, but <sighs> it's his end product though. The fact he gets into these areas is the, the one thing, but what he does of it is nothing. Absolutely nothing. Yeah, and we, me and Isha were talking, we noticed that Fabian Shea was almost a right back at times, and Yedlin was so far forward. But Well, in the first half, it was yeah. Sean Longstaff, wasn't uh, it? I noticed Fabian Shea coming at that byline as no, well. But Sean Longstaff was playing in the right hand side. I don't know, everyone's trying to support him. I don't know, but it was just poor. Now I'm going to score my four. I thought he was uh, underperforming tonight. Mm. Fabian Shea, alongside him, well, nearest man to him. Uh, I don't know. Did he was he at fault with the goals? I don't know. Who gave away the free kick? Richie. Okay, can't blame you for that. Um, the second goal we haven't seen the back because obviously we're not watching it live. But in general terms, general, I don't know, seven, seven. He didn't do much wrong. I can think of anyway. Well, you're Mr. Positive, and I, I don't know. Look, we're um, to the next round of the cup. Mate. Just, Come just on. We're more than that. My last word. I oh, know. Uh, yeah. And then the captain Jamal Sells. Yeah. Um, he's all yeah. right. I didn't think he had his best game in Newcastle shirt. Was he run ragged? Not massively, no. Um, the goals, looking at them, they weren't really his man as far as I'm aware. I think Yedlin might be not tight for the volley. Um, again, I haven't seen it back, but I'm scoring score a six. And so you're going to have Florian Lejeune, who I thought, I'll give you this bit of a heads up, I thought he was going to the end of the game. I thought he was shocking towards the end of the game. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say. There's a hint. No, 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 I feel the same way. But at the start of the game, he looked all right. In fact, first 90 minutes, no, first, what? 80 odd minutes? Yeah, because they come on, didn't they? Yeah, first 80 odd minutes played well. And then, as you said, after that, God knows. So I think we all went to. Sh yeah, excuse my language. Yeah, six, man. It was just shocking, bro. I've got to do it overall, innit? I've got to yeah. do it overall. I can't do it overall. If it was the last 10 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Matt Ritchie <laughs> didn't see enough of him going forward. Def defensively, he was tested at times, stretched a little bit. Alan St. Maximum didn't help him out defensively, however. I'll tell you what though, when that Oxford player came on, I can't remember the black guy, when he came on, he running ragged. No, the big fella. Yeah, I yeah, think yeah, he's, yeah. I think he struggled. It's not his best performance, but Alan St. Maximum didn't help him because obviously he looked knack. I know he got the winner, don't get me wrong, but he looked knackered. But I'm going to score Richie a six also. I'm only scoring that because of his work rate. I would have scored him a little bit lower, but six tonight. So that's the back five. Let's move into Nabil Bentaleb. Um, he got better. He got better, a couple good touches. Um, like a song that Bentaleb got better. <laughs> I don't know what song you're listening to. Um, Your playlist. <laughs> oh, trust me, I don't listen to that sort of stuff. Uh, Bentaleb definitely got better towards the end. Um, I don't know. Everywhere we go. Oh, no, that song is ringing in my head, man. Um, yeah, again, just another average performance, really. He looks tidy. He looks uh, a bit of a leader because he's telling people where to go, yeah. which he has done the last couple of days. The long staffs, I'll have Matty first. Oh, yeah, seven, by the way. Seven, seven sorry, yeah. A seven, that's quite high. Um, mm -hmm. Matty, um, a lot of his running was off the ball, trying to win the ball back. Um, I think Sean had more of the ball, touches-wise, but Matty was doing a lot of the dog work, and I think he's really good at that. He brings a lot of high energy. I'm going to score him a six as well. I'm not scoring everybody a six tonight, by the way. <laughs> Just Yedlin gets that knockdown. <laughs> um, what did you score? His brother Sean, he did score. Yes, Sean, the better out of the two tonight, I think. Um, although Matty had the legs, Sean had that little bit of quality. He obviously showed that in the goal. Um, needed it to beat his brother, because there's a bit of sib sibyl sibyl? sibling rivalry. Yeah, easy yeah, for me to say. say. Um, yeah, he just showed that bit of quality that we needed, especially in the first half. A bit of leadership in the middle of the park as well, so I'll definitely have to give him a 7 slash 8. I'm giving 8 because he scored a goal as well, so caught us off and running. Do you want Miggy or Joe Lytton? Yeah. You pick. You I'll pick. have Miggy. I thought Miggy's man match. 
I'm going to say, I know yeah. Alan St. Maximum's going to go get the plotters because he got the winner. <laughs> but for me, um, Miggy was brilliant tonight. Did he, he come off injured though? I don't know, I think it was tactical because weren't we winning when he when he came off and Bruce must have thought, oh, we've won it, yeah. And by God, we'll talk about in the last word, we looked a bit lost without a striker. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, Miggy, I thought he was man of the match. I don't know if I should score him a nine, but I'll, it'll probably be a high eight. Uh, a lot of the work was coming through him, a lot of the play, a lot of through balls. Um, he was doing a lot of the dog work. I'm, I'm going to score him high, I'm going to score him an eight. Joe Linton, who scored, went off injured. Right. But I must, I'm going to stick up for him. Let me. <laughs> we didn't look the same sides with Joe Linton going off. And I think, yes, you might say we don't have a striker, mm. but we kind of missed him a little bit. Okay. Right. You I see where I'm going with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was so scared for him when he was one on one on goal. Because I just didn't want him to miss. I know we all don't want him to miss. <laughs> but again, he's one on one on goal. Put it away well. Put it away well. Even Shearer said apparently that, you know, good finishing. And Alan Shearer, just in that little black box. Over there. And Shearer knows about finishing. Thing or two about finishing. Um, yeah, and then obviously went off. And then he got a standing ovation as well when he was going off as well. So it just shows that we are behind him. Joe Linton, if you do, it might happen to watch this. We are behind you. Um, but yeah. Yeah, yeah, positive. Gotta say positive, man. Eight. Because we did miss him. Because yeah, we, we did. did miss him. Because we didn't and have we, an outlet. We didn't, didn't have, have an outlet. We didn't have an outlet. And we struggled from that. And yeah, obviously, yeah. Alan St. Maximum was the first man to come on. <sighs> Bit of a mixed bag to begin with, because he just wasn't helping Matt Ritchie out at all on that on that side. He was obviously he played up top. He played on the left. Um, but at the end of the day, he put he got with through, and I know he was a threat. And I'm going to have to score him a bit high as well. I'm going to score him in eight, eight as well. Got the match when I came over, sang and danced in front of her. Was See, for me, he was better out of the two. Out of who, Joe Litton? Oh, him and Almiron. Nah, I'll say, Al I'll say Almiron no. just. I know. St. Maximum's direct. Whenever yeah, he comes on, he knows what he's doing. He's going for goal. He's at outlet. He's taking the ball and that's it. He's going for it. Almiron, yes. I mean, they had a good game, don't get me wrong, but I just think St. Maxwell just edges it a little bit. I'll, me, I'll agree or disagree with yeah. that. I'm sure the people in the comments don't just say Alan St. Maxwell because of the goal. Look at overall, Saint he's work rate. St. Yeah. Um, but he's a threat and he was the only threat when Saul Linton went off, in particular as extra time. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if I'm getting this in the right order because there was four subs. So obviously Alan St. Maxwell was the first one. Um, who was the next one? Because uh, Atsu and Clark came later. Hayden? Yes, Isaac Hayden. Hayden. Um, solid as always, man. I remember that, that tackle no, near to this end as well. Literally just 50-50. Didn't pull out. Um, another solid performance, Never man. pull out. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> what, what did you give him? Uh, la, 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 seven. You're going to score him a seven. Okay. Yeah. Kieran Clark, who I thought it was needed. <laughs> because Lejeune was all over the place uh, the last 10, 15 minutes of the game. And I think Bruce has probably just said, that's a concern for me. Yeah. I think that's more of a tactical change. So Lejeune off, Clark on. And so, you know what you get of Keane Clark, he's a talker, he chats, uh, points. Um, so I'm going to um, literally score him a six. I think you're doing all right. By and the way, uh, Oxford fan just gone past and said not deserved, but we're through to next round, mate. I'm sorry, but it is deserved. It's all right, because the mate can't pick them up. It's over here. <laughs> uh, the last one was Atta, who was bright. A lot of people don't like him coming on. Um, a lot of people are against him. And that's probably what I would just describe him as bright. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It's just, just the last. I think he had a couple of chances that he could have just... He was knows that, now he has to perform. Yeah, it's that one with Yedlin. When he could have just laid it oh, into yeah, him. Oh, yeah, you should have shot me and you should have both looked at each other. What's he done? Oh, man, frustrating. Frustrating. And he is under threat. You know, all these players that have come in now that could, you know. Yeah, Lazaro's another Lazaro's one. Lazaro's another one. Rose potentially could push Richie up, which means he's at Richie, the team yeah. as well. So, yeah, he's got to perform, but. It's his end product, man. But he's bright, but his end product. It's just not there what you're giving him. Yeah, five. Five. Five, and that's being nice. So the, the man of the matches ever between Alan St. Maximum, Almiron, and you give someone else an eight, didn't I? Or was it me? Nah, it was you. Who did I give? I've, I mean, my, I anyways, we'll end it there because my mind's went out elsewhere. Same man of the match for me. Miggy for me, let us know what you think. Uh, the last word with Isha's coming up shortly. Stay tuned. Ta-da, bye. <laughs>